This video describes the process to install the Generation 3 DAP, multi-station, and cable crossover adjustable handles. Step 1. Remove the top swivel pulley, allowing the cable to be removed. Step 2. Remove the cable from the back of the trolley. Step 3. Remove the trolley and swivel from the guide. Step 4. Remove the fastener at the top of the guide post. The fastener type will vary based on the machine you are working on. Step 5. Tip out the post and remove the top rubber stop. Pay attention to the orientation of the bumper for later use. Step 6. Remove the new trolley from the packaging and install it onto the guide. Pay close attention to the orientation, making sure the swivel mount is in the right place. Step 7. Replace the top rubber stop. Pay attention to the orientation of the bumper, then reinstall the post fasteners. Step 8. Remove the new swivel from the packaging and remove the top pulley from the assembly. Step 9. Install the new swivel onto the trolley. Step 10. Place the cable into the swivel and then reinstall the pulley and the fasteners. Reattach the cable to the back of the trolley. Step 11. Install appropriate warning label to the trolley and make sure the surface is clean before installing. Note, pay close attention to the orientation of the sticker to the handle. Each side is different. For DAP, install the instruction sticker onto the machine in the two places shown, 65 inches from the ground to the top of the sticker. For the cable crossover, place 65 inches from the ground to the top of the sticker. For multi-station, 65 inches from the ground to the top of the sticker.